Hi everyone, my name is Donna and I am a health and wellbeing coach and today I am going to go through a lymphatic flow and a stretch and movement sequence for talk lipedema. Um, we will be using a strap and there's going to be some breath work, we're just going to do some gentle stretching, we're going to mobilise through some of the joints and we're going to do most majority of it seated and then we will do some standing um, as we go through maybe to do a little bit of back stretching and upper back and neck stretches so grab yourself a strap um, this can be a dressing gown band it can be a tie it can be a belt i've actually got like a little yoga strap here but it's not you know just anything that you can perhaps hook around your feet um, if you find that your hips can be tight if there's a little bit of lack of mobility and flexibility um we can use the strap i will be using this strap for sure so I'm just going to put that to one side and just pause this if you need to go and grab hold of that band. And then we will get started. We're going to start with some gentle breath work and some shoulder moves. So find yourself into a seated position and make sure it's comfortable underneath. I've actually got an extra little cushion underneath on my chair here. And then just place the feet to the ground. Just go for a little heel toe movement. And it's quite nice to do this with no shoes and socks on. And then stillness through the feet. And then make sure the knees are comfortable. Try not to have the knees collapsing inwards. Just draw them in line with your hip bones. And then have a deep breath in. Roll the shoulders up. Bring the shoulders back. And then if you find there's a little bit of a curvature of the lower back, just bring the belly button back a little bit and then just a little tuck under with that tailbone and then you'll find your shoulders will naturally draw up slightly and then roll back with those shoulders. And then just be aware of your chin to chest here. So a lot of the time in the world we live in, we bring our heads forward quite a bit and we can get quite a tight neck and shoulders. So just draw the chin back slightly, raise the head up and now just soften the eye gaze down. Just look towards the knees or towards the ground. If you're comfortable, you've done breath work before, you can completely close the eyes. And let's have a big breath in. As you breathe out, relax those shoulders, relax the elbows, relax the wrists. And then we're going to breathe in for the count of four. Feel the chest expand, get that breath just into the belly. And a slow breath out for four. Breathing in through the nose again. And then now try to expand the belly a little bit more. Feel free if you want to place one hand onto your belly, one hand to your chest. Feel your chest expand, feel the belly expand. And then as you ex exhale, just relax. Now think about relaxing the lower back into your hip space. Now just continue with that breathing. Really think about getting the oxygen all around to the torso. And a soft exhale. Now as you breathe in, imagine that breath going all the way down the right leg. And then just breathe in out. Feel that right leg just have a little bit of a tingle, maybe some tingling into the foot, into the ankle. And now we're going to inhale into that left side, all the way down to the toes. Imagine the breath making its way through the belly, down the pelvis, inside of the inner thigh around the foot and then back up. We're just going to do the same with the arms. So big inhale. Imagine that breath going down both shoulders into both of the elbows, down to the hands. And then as you exhale, just softly relax into a lovely little kind of relax through the joints, through any aches and pains that you've got at the moment. Now relax your jaw, relax your forehead, if any of you suffer with headaches, we can just soften through the head, down the front of the face, into the jaw, down the neck. 
Now have a big breath in and then on your exhalation just let the breath go. So we're going to breathe in perhaps for even longer than four. We can go up to six if you can or if not a little bit more if you're used to doing this breath work. And a big exhale in one go. Decompress the body. Okay have a little wiggle through the shoulders and then shake up through the wrist. Just go for some rotations and rotate the other way. Give a little shake out of those fingers. So just bring one leg up, circle one ankle. A few times one way, a few times the other. Change leg. Might be a few clicks and clunks. And then go back to that first leg and just give a little shake. A little shake up through the calves, through the foot, and then change side. Bring one arm out and just have a little shake up through that side. A little rotation through the wrists. And then so four rotations backwards with the shoulder. So place one hand just on top of the shoulder. Again, you might feel some clunks and clicks. Bring the arm back the other way. When you're ready, change sides, bring the hands on top. Just see if there's any difference in the mobility from your left to your right side. And then forward. Remember, there's no wrong or right with some of these mobility works, these moves. It all just depends on how your body is feeling. We've always got one side that's going to be a bit tighter than the other. Okay, so on your chair, or if you're on the sofa, you can just place the hand just down to side. If you're on a dining room chair or a desk chair, then you can, if you've got space, you can grab hold of the bottom. We're just going to hold, we're going to lift one arm up, let the fingertips go up. Now try not to let the shoulder encroach up. Make sure the shoulders stay level here. We're going to breathe in and over to the side as we exhale. And stay here for another breath in. Think about this nice opening from the hip up to the armpit. Big inhale. And exhale as we come up. Drop this arm behind you for a little rotation. We're just going to twist gently back. Coming forward, lifting up the other arm, breathing in. And then stretch over to the other sides. Again, open up through the rib cage, through the side body, big breath in. And then as you exhale, come up and then just have a little rotation back, get into that twist. And then come forwards. Taking your hands just to round where the hip, hips are, and then just go for a few pelvic tilts here. We're just going to roll forward and back through the glutes, drawing that belly button back. So we take away any curvature that's coming inwards. We're going to go one way to the other. And then if you find you're okay with that, we can then bring the arms forward and just have that real opening through the back of the body. And then when you come into the reverse, bring the arms up, separate those arms, and then go for a lovely little chest opening. So you're going to feel that stretch through the upper part of the shoulders into the chest. Bring the hands back down to the waist. And again, we're going to go forward. Breathe in as you open. Big breath in. As we decompress, we're going to exhale. Bring the arms forward, increase that stretch through the upper back. Big breath in here. Exhale as you raise those fingers and hands up. Open up through the chest space. Then, depending how your neck's feeling, we can just let that chin come up. Breathing in. Exhale, bring the hands back to the waist. We're going to do that one more time. Okay, relax those shoulders. Okay, inhale. Little curvature of that lower back. Exhale, bring the hands forward. Decompress. 
Breathe in as you stretch here. As you exhale, bring the arms all the way up. Let's get that oxygen in around the upper body. Bring the arms down. Bring the chin all the way up towards the ceiling. Get that stretch through the front. And then bring the hands down. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, kind of stroking and tapping now up towards the um, armpit into the chest and then up through the neck. We'll start with um, one arm, we'll go on to the other, it doesn't matter if you go left or right. So we're just going to have the hand just softly, really softly through that wrist. We're just going to go up to the neck, first of all, and then as you come down, go underneath the arm. Come up, little taps up towards the neck, lower part of the head. Go underneath the armpit, and now we we'll do reverse. So we're going to go up towards the armpit, and then up the neck. Little fingers down the arm. We're going to go up again. So we're going to just try now and just get all that upwards motion into the armpit, and then go a little bit freestyle here. You can go up and down the neck into that chest. You can use your fingers, and then back up again. Last time underneath the arm into the lats underneath the armpit into the chest if you do suffer with a little bit of tightness in the chest just go for a few little moves here just a little bit of like mobility stretching this morning and then let's just sweep all the way up nice and softly all the way up the arm into the neck like i say down to the chest and then let's just push from the middle part, the sternum, out. And then in and just get everything. Just a nice, soft little self-massage here. If you have got tightness, you can just grip the hand and just get into the neck. Okay, let's go on the other side. So shake out that wrist. Give the hat little fingertips together. And we're going to come up. Tap, tap, tap. Into the head. Underneath. Go back down. Up again, down, and then go up on the inside, up on the outside. Hopefully, I should. Uh, you got the rhythm now. Hopefully, going up to the neck, into the head. Just using those fingertips on the head, and then it's working to the chest. Gentle tapping. Just go up the arm. Again, underneath the armpit. We've got a lot of our lymph nodes here. Or on the collarbone and then let's go for that sweeping up it's a nice soft lymphatic massage going up to get that blood flow stimulated again just into the chest pushing up towards the armpit and then take the hand onto the shoulder just give it a little rub down it's a nice little gentle Self massage up the shoulders into the neck. You can use the palm of the hands here just into around the chest. And again, let's do the same for this side for our little mobility. Just bring the arm up, down, open. It doesn't take long, just even you would if you were to do that tapping and sweeping in the morning or even at night if there's a little bit of um, swelling and um, down the arms. We will be doing the same in the legs in a moment. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take the hands just to your ribcage. I'm going to get you to breathe in for four. Okay, ready? Hold for two. Exhale for four. One more time, big breath in. Hold. Exhale. Okay, so we're going to go from... Your right, and I'm aware this may be opposite, so right hip bone around to the left, underneath the belly button and around. So just go for some little circles. So it's always from the right into centre down to left. That's the way our, our intestines kind of work and travel. And again, let's go for some taps in that circle. If you want, if you feel free, you can do this stood up. You don't have to be sat down. It might even be better stood up if you want to get into the lower part of around the hips. I'm going to stick to this this way round. This helps with the gut. And you can always go for some tapping around as well. 
if you find you've got a little bit of uncomfortableness in your gut you can stay at one place and then like help it travel around okay so we're going to take the hands um you feel free to stand here and again you can do this um sat down just take the hands to the back and i'm just gonna have a little little slap and tap just get the everything going through the bum and the hips we're going to move down to the legs now okay shake off those wrists okay so if you need your strap we're just going to hold this now we're going to take it to the foot and we're just gently going to lift up the leg with assistance have the knee slightly bent so if i show you from side on i'm just going to bend this knee just slightly and just you can just use assistance up depending on your range of motion if some of you are quite flexible keep the knee bent and you can just hold that that leg but it, it, they you know our legs can get a bit heavy if you've got water retention and now all i'm going to get you to do is point the toes and then flex the toes so we're going to point flex and keep that going and just keep breathing through you can always feel a nice little stretch out now through the top part of the feet as the feet go forward and then as you come back we get that little calf stretch tends to be that we can be quite hypermobile through the joints so make sure this knee is not hyperextending back and now i'm going to get you to do with the foot is to rotate one way other way Again, just wiggle those toes and just get any freestyle stretch here now. When you're ready, release that strap and just circle the ankle one way, the other way. I'm going to bring the knees together, both feet to the floor. The right knee is going to come up a fraction. I'm going to extend this leg, squeeze this quad muscle, bring it in. Five of these. So one, two, three. Oh, it feels burning already for me. <laughs> two, last one. And rest. Okay, so this leg we've just been extending. You're going to take that out to the side. And we're going to, it's going to open up through this inner thigh here. Keep this leg straight. As you're here, we're going to take the hand to the inner part of the knee and we're just going to open up for a side bend, pushing this leg open to get this little inner thigh stretch through the hip. Breathing in as we open. Exhale, close. Take the hand just to the side and then lift up this other side. Keep that leg where it is so we're open through the inner thigh. Bring the, uh, that arm down and we're going to go across. And again, just keep the fl nice fluid breath work in and out. And you're nice, little opening through the side body. And then once you've done here, evenly both sides, bring that leg in. And now if you need the strap, we're just going to do the outside of the hip. You're going to get the uh, your foot just on the outside edge and just kind of bring that leg up and in and you'd be it just depends on how mobile you are for the hips if you're okay with bringing the leg up onto the knee then you can just hinge into it it's kind of like a laying down uh, glute stretch but we're doing a seated glute stretch relax the shoulders relax the jaw the forehead now I, as i'm here in this stretch i'm actually gonna give my little feet a little massage i'm just going to get into the toes so i'm going to use the thumb and do some gentle little circles nice and gentle and then i'm just going to go to the base of the foot and just do that with my thumbs inner part outer part so just manipulate the sole of the foot where you need to and get into the heel you can use that knuckle a few little we often forget about self-care for our feet and it's like the most important for us so keep that a little stretch out and just go on some work on some flexion all in the back through the toes really open up those toes that's it get the get that stretch now you can always stay here a little bit longer or keep this in mind for future now if you were 
out here with the foot and then bringing up that hip just be aware of where the leg is now and then if you do these stretches um, every now and then you know like more regular you may be able to get that leg closer and closer um, but again it, everyone's different with their hips so just you know go to the, the ability that your body can go to so this side for example is my dodgy hip so you may notice on this video I might not be able to stretch and mobilize it as much okay so I'm going to lift the other leg up a few circles one way and the other way. Okay, so that strap's just going to go around the foot. I'm just going to bring the leg forward for a little hamstring stretch. And again, my knee is slightly bent. I'm not going to hyperextend it. <sighs> Relax those shoulders. Okay, let's flex the toes. Point the toes. Flex. And point. Go internal rotation, external rotation. A little bit of freestyle through the toes, through the ankle, go where you need to be. And just bring that leg up a little bit higher if you can. Such a good little stretch. You could do this laying on the back, this stretch as well with the strap. Okay, give a shake out of that foot. And again, just get into the toes, open and close. Okay, so this leg now that we've just been working, we're gonna take that out to the side. The leg that's, um, went, that was forward, keep that forward, try and keep 90 degrees. And I'm gonna rotate out of this hip space here. So already for me, this side is a little bit tighter. So I'm just gonna kind of move to where I'm comfortable through my bum. I'm going to go over towards the leg for a little stretch out. Get into the rib cage, breathe in. As you exhale, over to the other side, sweep the arms over, be nice and fluid with this motion. We're going to go back, breathing in. Feel the oxygen go through the belly, down to the hips, into the stretch one more time you probably feel that up the front if you've got one side tighter than the other okay bring this leg forwards make sure the knees are in alignment I'm just going to bring the leg up a fraction we're going to extend we've got five quad extensions I'm going to squeeze this quad five four three two last one. Oh, i feel that little burn lovely okay so grab your strap again place it around the feet i'm just going to bend the knee out to side to get into the outer part of the hip into the glute i'm just going to feed this leg up now if um you notice then i adjust my foot because my ankle is pulling it too much so just make sure the foot is in a nice alignment with your shin and not bending get into that inner thigh into the outer hip if it's comfortable and whenever you're ready, you can place the foot onto the opposite knee and then lean into it slightly. Relaxing the shoulders. Every time I feel tightness, my shoulders go up here. So it's like, oh. <laughs> and don't push the stretch. You want to be about 60% of your kind of range of motion, really. You don't want to be in pain with this, these stretches. Okay, I'm now going to go into the foot massage. I want to get my thumbs. So I'm just going to go around the ball of the foot, little tiny circles with my thumb into each toe, into the big toe. And now I'm going to get that on this side. I'm going to get my fingers onto the top of the foot and almost like open up through the fascia, through the underneath, and just kind of really like gentle with it. And then on the other side, I'm going to kind of get my thumb and hand and open up through the base of the foot. Get your thumb into all around, not too hard, just a nice little manipulation of the base of the feet. If any of you have got a tennis ball or one of those massage balls, um, this is quite nice to just do that massage in on the feet as well. Okay, and let's go for a few little flexion and through the top of the foot. 
And again, you can always pause the video if you want to go a little bit longer, if you've got more time. So we get back into that extended stretch. Let that leg go and then place it down. And just check in now, see if your ankles genuinely feel a little bit looser and your calf muscles should feel a little bit more floaty. Okay, so we're gonna go for the tapping. Um, you can stay seated, just put one leg forward slightly and we're just gonna tap up the outside. And I'm gonna go up. So when I um, go down, it's a light, but when I'm coming up, it's a little bit more, not aggressive, but a little bit more of a tap into up around the hip space, get into the belly if you feel you need to. I'm just gonna do the other leg first and then I'm gonna stand up. So I'm just gonna go up, light tap down, inside, around the hips. Okay, so if it is more comfortable, you can be standing and you can just bend down, up into it, and get a little bit into your bum cheeks there as well. Into the inner thigh. Up around the hips, to the belly, into the lower back. The bum, good, let's shake up those legs. Okay, so everyone um, come up to standing. Now, you, if you're on your sofa, you can just hold the edge of the sofa and we can like, stretch in if you've got a chair like me. Just gonna grab hold of the back of the chair Make sure it's secure. I'm gonna let my, I'm gonna do a little child's pose. So I'm gonna push my chest through to get that stretch, drop the head down. Now go back to your breathing. So breathing into the back of the body, open up through the lower back, into the upper back, feel the rib cage expand. On your next exhale, take your left hand over to your right. So you're gonna go for a diagonal stretch. Come up, change side. And then go back to the center. I'm gonna go on my tiptoes here and I'm just gonna walk a little, like a downward facing dog. We're just gonna get into the bottom of the feet, calf muscles, and then go from side to side, just shake up through the back. You can always move the feet side to side. Like I say, it doesn't have to look a certain way with a lot of these stretches. It's just go by how your body's feeling. Last big stretch into it. Slowly come up. Holding on to the chair, sofa, table, wall. We're going to bring the knee up, circle. I'm going to go for free one way. So again, if the hips are a little bit clicky, go back in. Just go to where you need to be. Leg that was coming up for those, those rotations, lift the arm up, push the bum out to side, hips out to side. And come back in. Okay, change side. Three hip circles one way. Three hip circles inwards. Place the foot down, lift up that arm, hold on to the chair, the sofa. We're just going to go for that stretch, push the bum out. And then slowly come back to a seated position. Okay, relax into your chair. Tuck under with that tailbone slightly, draw the belly button back, Might have the feet forwards, knees are relaxed, hips are relaxed, shoulders draw down. Lift the head just slightly so chin is away from chest and draw your chin back. Now we're just gonna go for a big inhale, slow exhale. Now as you're breathing here, just feel the whole of the body have a little tingle where we just stimulated the lymphatic flow. Been really gentle with these exercises and stretches today. And now see if you can increase your count to perhaps six of the inhale. Hold for three and then six on the exhale. Let's go. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-
two, three, four, five, hold for three, two, one, exhale really slow for five, four, three, two, one, hold if you can, unless you're pregnant, do not hold, and then stop, not stop breathing, but just relax as normal, and then just breathe in and out, just see if your body is genuinely feeling a little bit more relaxed. Now, I didn't um, really cover any neck and shoulder stretching, but if you feel like you just need a little bit of uh, movement side to side, just really gentle through the head. Side to side, you can always just gaze up slightly. We can get quite tight through the front of the neck. And you can always tuck the chin down and get that little stretch through the back. It's amazing how quick half an hour goes of mobility work. It's so beneficial for reducing stress. And like I say, just get everything moving in the body. And taking care of the feet, very, very important. Okay, just a little drop down with those arms. Bring one hand in front, one hand behind. Just a small rotation back as we finish. And then sweep round the other way. And you are all done. Thank you everyone for taking part in this video today. And uh, if you can just do a couple of those moves so uh, per day, whether it's just like two to five minutes of just a little bit of mobilization, go down back to the breath work or even the foot massaging and the, the tapping as well. Um, obviously body brushing, is perfect you can always use the body brush as well as the tapping or one or the other have an amazing day um, and obviously if you need any more tips then do come over to talk lipedema we'll be happy to help and there's loads of content over on the website i'll put all the details below have an amazing day thank you